السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکت آئی ایم شیف نامس فرام کافٹ اور اسکول ہاؤ آر یو آل اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل فائن ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک یو اے میتھس لیسن آئی ہوپ یو آر آل ریڈی وتھ یور میٹیریلس اسٹوڈنٹس کین یو ریکال وٹ یو ہیو لرنٹ ان یور پریویس لیسن Yes, you are right. You have learned estimation in your previous lesson. Now, let's have a look at the learning intention and success criteria of today's lesson. In this lesson, you are going to learn to use different strategies for adding numbers. So, you will be successful if you are able to use different objects or pictures for adding numbers as well as use counting on method for adding numbers. Okay, before we start today's lesson, let's watch a short video. I see three white chickens eating from the ground. Let's count them. One, two, three. In comes four brown chickens. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. All together. How many chickens are eating from the ground? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So altogether, there are seven chickens eating from the ground. Now, let's look back at this story. How many chickens were there at the start of the story? Do you remember? three chickens one two three how many chickens joined them do you remember four one two three four and how many are all together seven one two three four five six seven Moving on to this truck over here. We see two birds on top of this truck. Let's count. One, two. Three blue birds join the other two on top of the truck. One, two, three. How many birds are there on top of the truck? One, two, three. four, five. There are five birds all together and they're all on top of this truck. So now let's look back at that story and think, how many birds were there at the start of that story? There were two birds, remember? One, two. And how many birds decide to fly in and join those two? Remember the bluebirds. There were three. One, two, three. And how many birds all together? One, two, three, four, five. Five birds all together. Okay, let's see what you have understood from the video. Look at these pictures and think about these questions. How did the little girl found the number of hens in the farm? Yes, you are right. By counting them all. She counted the total of number of hens in the farm. Okay, now look at this picture and tell me. Why did the little girl count them all? Yes, you are right. She wants to find the total number of birds in there. That's why she counted them all, right? Students, when you find the total number of things, either by counting or grouping them, it is called addition. So in this lesson, we are going to learn more about addition. So what are we going to learn today? Yes, we are going to learn addition. Okay, 
So students, do you know that every day we use addition in our daily life? For example, when you are counting the total number of color pencils in your color box, you will be counting the number of pencils in it, right? So what you are doing is when you are finding the total, you are actually adding them. Like that when you are counting the total number of coins in your piggy bank, at that time also you are doing addition. So let's learn more about addition, shall we? Okay, now let's see how many of you are good at counting. So what is the total number of fingers and toes you have in all? Superb! You have 20 in all. Okay, now can you count the number of letters in the word estimation? How many letters are there? How many letters in estimation? Yes, you are correct. There are 10 letters. Okay, now the last one. How many members are there in your family? Yes, can you count the number of members in your family? Mashallah, you have done a wonderful job. So you are all very good at counting. All right, let's dig into a little deeper to understand what addition means. Here are some examples. Suppose you have six cookies and your brother gave you two more cookies. So can you find the total number of cookies you will have in all? How can you find them? Yes, by counting them. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight. So how many cookies you will have in all? Yes, you are right. You will have eight cookies. So when you add six cookies and two cookies, you will get total of eight cookies. Well, students, you know that you can represent this mathematically. I mean, you can write it as an addition sentence. Any idea about how to write addition sentence? Can you think of how you can write an addition sentence? What we will need to write an addition sentence? Do we need a full stop? Or capital letters? No, you won't need them. Let's see what we will need to write an addition sentence. Okay, come with me. Here we go. So first you will need a plus sign. This is a very important symbol that we are using in addition. So plus sign tells us what numbers we are adding. For example, here we are adding six cookies and two cookies. That is the number that we are adding. So it tells the two numbers we are adding. So here we can place the plus sign. Okay. And the next symbol we are using is called the equal sign. Let's see how equal sign helps us. So equal sign tells us what the total of the number added is. Let's see. So what will be the total of 6 and 2? Yes, you are right. It is 8, right? So we will place the equal sign after the two numbers we add. Here we are adding six cookies and two cookies. So we will place the equal sign after that. So there will be total of eight cookies. Okay, now let's see how can we write it mathematically as an addition sentence. When you write the addition sentence, you can replace these pictures with numbers. So, as you can see, there are six cookies and two cookies and the total of that is eight. So, instead of these pictures, 
you can write numbers to represent them. Therefore, it can be written as 6 plus 2 equals to 8. This is how you can write an addition sentence. Students, can you try to write an addition sentence for this picture? Remember to count all the number of apples in each group separately when you are writing the addition sentence. Alright, let's see. If there are two apples in the first group, we will write two for that. And there are five apples in the second group. So here we are adding two and five. So we will write it as two plus five. So which is equals to, what is the sum of two and five? Yes, you are right. It is seven. So you can write it as two plus five equals to seven. Now students understood how to write an addition sentence? Superb. Now I'm going to tell you about the magic zero. Remember to respond to my questions. Here's an addition rule that is very cool. When you add zero to any number, just keep that number on your mind. When you add a zero to any number, you get that number every time. Now here's some addition problems for you to solve. Remember the addition rule when you add zero. 2 plus 0 equals 5 plus 0 equals 6 plus 0 equals 7 plus 0 equals 1 plus 0 equals 3 plus 0 equals 9 plus 0 equals When you add a 0 to any number, just keep that number on your mind. When you add a zero to any number, you get that number every time. You get that number every time. Isn't it interesting? Yes. You know, there are lots of interesting things about adding things. For example, look at this addition sum, 7 plus 3. You know, it has different names. You can write it in different ways or you can describe it in different ways. Let's see how can you describe this. You can describe this as 7 and 3. The sum of 7 and 3. 7 plus 3. Add 3 to 7. 7 added to 3. Total of 3 and 7. So these are different ways in which you can describe action. There is also a very interesting story about the two numbers that we are adding or the two numbers in the addition sum. Let's see the story about these two addends. Does the order matter when we're adding? So sometimes you'll see maybe a 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 and we want to see if would the answer be the same no matter how we arrange these numbers over here which are called add-ins. Okay, let's take a look at this example. There are three birds on a tree branch. Two more birds joined them. Now there are five birds on the tree branch, right? Remember, there were three. One, two, three. Two more birds joined them. One, two. Now there are five. One, two, three, four, five. Five birds on the branch. So that means three plus two is equal to five. Now let's switch these numbers around and see if 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. There are two birds on the tree branch. Three more birds join them. Here are the two birds. One, two. And here are the three birds. One, two, three. 
How many birds are on the branch? One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, two plus three is equal to five. So in this example, we have three plus two is equal to five. And over here, we have two plus three is equal to five. So that means, although I switched the order, we still got the same answer. All right, kids. Now, as you have learned how to write addition sentence, now you are going to do some practical work. Okay? So, you can use different strategies for addition. For example, you can use some objects when you are adding, or you can use an abacus. Even you can use some blocks to add. Okay? And even you can use a number line, or you can use counting on method to add numbers. Okay? So, now we are going to do some practical work. Before that, okay, you are going to answer some of these questions and if you get a correct answer, I'm going to give you a happy face here. Okay, so try to collect more happy faces by getting the correct answer. Okay, first of all, let's do 4 plus 2. Here, 4 is the first addend and 2 is the second addend, right? Okay, so let's use two different colors for this. Here it is 4, so let's place 4 here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these four we are going to place in the abacus. Here it is, four. And we need to take two more. That is second end, right? So here we got four. So this is five and six. So what is the answer, students? Yes, exactly. It is six. Very good. Give yourself a clap. So this is the first happy face you got, mashallah. All right. Let's move on to the next question. 9 plus 3. Okay, this time let's use some blocks. You all have blocks in your home, right? So let us use some blocks. So the first one is 9. So let's place 9 blocks here. 1. I'm going to uh, pile it up. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? And here you have to add three more blocks to this, right? So first addend is nine and the th second addend is three. So now you are going to add three more blocks to this, right? So what will be the answer? Let's see. Nine, then 10, 11, 12. Okay kids, what's your answer? Superb, it is 12, right? Very good. So you got a happy face. Okay, students, you are going great, mashallah. Let's try some more questions. 7 plus 5, let's, this time, okay? 7 is the first day then. So we are going to take 7 blocks, right? Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So how many more blocks you need? 5 blocks, right? So let's use green color this time, okay, again. So... Here we got seven blocks, so you have to add five more blocks, right? So what comes after seven? It is eight, right? So let's start counting from that number. So it is eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Superb! So it's twelve, right? Again you got it right? So let's give a happy face. Okay, now give yourself a big clap. How many of you are good at forward counting? MashaAllah. Let's use counting on method to find the total of 5 in 2. So let's take the first edit. It is 5. Now you can count in on from 5 and then you have to add 2 more numbers. So let's use your hand calculator. Let's use your fingers for counting. Okay. So here we are going to start counting from 5. Then you have to add 2 more numbers. So what comes after 5? Yes, it is 6. So it will be 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. So what is the answer? Yes, it is 7. Here is another example. 3 plus 8. Let's take the first number and add on 8 into that. So you need to take 8 fingers this time. So what comes after 3? Very good. It is 4. 
so you are going to start counting from 4 so it will be 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so what is the total of 3 and 8 mashallah it is 11 All right, students, as you have learned a lot about addition, now it's time to reflect. So, students, are you all ready to take a quiz? Okay, here we go. Well, students, this is your first question. Now tell me, what is the sum of 2 and 8? So your time starts now. Remember that you can find the answer by counting the number of objects in all or grouping them. Can you think of the answer now? Let's check your answer. How much you got? 10. MashaAllah. Moving on to the next question. Here you have to write an addition sentence for this given picture. So your time starts now. Remember that you can count the total number of objects in each group when you are writing an addition sentence. Can we check the answer? Is it 7 plus 4 equals to 11? If you got this answer, it is correct. Give yourself a big clap. Okay, this is your third question. Now, can you draw objects and find the total of 9 and 3? So, your time starts now. You can draw anything you want. Anything which is easier. Either circles or apples or anything you want. So, let's think of the answer. Okay, let's see. Here I have drawn some pencils. So there are nine pencils. Then you have to add three more pencils into that. So what will be the total of nine and three? Let's see. Yes, you are correct. It is 12. Finally, this is your last question. Three added to six. This time remember to use counting on method for adding numbers. Okay, so here the first student is 3, so you can count on 6 into that. So your time starts now. Start counting on from 3. So what comes after 3? Yes, start counting on. Now let's check your answer. You can use your fingers for control, right? So what comes after 3? Yes, you are right. It is 4. So it will be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So how much is 3 plus 6? Yes, you are right. 3 added to 6 is equals to 9. MashaAllah, you, you have done a wonderful job today. So give yourself a big clap. Well, my dear students, now we are almost at the end of the lesson. So let's check how many of you have reached today's target. So if you have achieved today's target, you can give a thumb up. And if you still need help, you can give a thumb down. So how many of you will be able to add different numbers using objects? Very good. Then how many of you can use counting on method for adding numbers for example by using your fingers for counting on mashallah that means you have done a wonderful job today i hope you all enjoy learning addition inshallah we will meet once again wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh